Well, hi, hello, and today we are having a cup of tea around my 30 day posting everyday video challenge. My name's Sophie Mejia, and I love to help artists to become highly successful building a business around their art. And this is what I'm sort of calling my tea time, whether that's morning tea or afternoon tea or evening tea, tea time short videos, i.e. these videos are no longer than perhaps it might take to make yourself a cup of tea. So if you're just gonna join me live for this short, snappy video, grab yourself a cuppa and listen up. Today is day two of 30. Yesterday, I talked a little bit around the principle of how to build a business around your art rather than getting commercial and trying to change your art to be something else. And today, today we are talking about mindset and the 80-20 principle. So hello to the, those of you that are coming on live. Glasses is not gonna tell me who you are because I can't read from that distance. But thank you very much for joining me live. And of course, if you're watching the replay later, don't forget to hashtag replay afterwards as well. So here's something that I know to be true for me. If you've heard about the Pareto principle, the 80-20 rule, the 80-20 principle if you've read the book, um, just give me a shout out or thumbs up if you know that book, you know about the principle, you know about the idea. Um, and if you don't, this is gonna be super exciting. Because normally what we think about when we think about the 80-20 principle, perhaps in business certainly, we think about the fact that 80% of our sales come from 20% of our customers. Now that alone, yes, thank you, that alone is an exciting fact because it means of course that we don't need to build an enormous business with thousands of customers once you understand that principle. But today I want to talk about the principle that I think is more empowering and more important for us artists in that 80%, I believe, of becoming successful as an artist is in your head, in your mindset, and only 20% is about the, the strategies and the day-to-day -day stuff that you use. And by the way, if you're seeing something crossing the screen in the bottom corner here, it's my large cat's tail, and she's flicking in disgust that we have brought a kitten into the household. So if you're wondering what's moving in the bottom of the screen, it's Safi cat's tail, um, as she's really, really cross with me. So imagine this, the questions I get asked, I get asked things like, how many hashtags should I put on my post on Instagram, Sophie? Um, how do I get this link to go to this link? How do I actually start my MailChimp account? How do I write this email? How do I create this postcard and poster? And whilst there is nothing wrong with any of those questions, those sit in the strategy part. And for me, there's always an answer to the strategy. It's, it's, there's always a way to find that out. But if you find it out and the mindset has not got the confidence to actually go out and implement any of that, or if behind it all you have a belief that you're not good enough, or a belief that you'll never be successful, or your belief that you can't make money from your art, it doesn't matter how many hashtags you've got, it doesn't matter if you follow the posting principle to a T, it doesn't matter if you write that email, if you get that MailChimp account set up correctly. If you don't have the mindset to take you forward as an artist um, or as an art entrepreneur, then it's not really gonna happen anyway, right? So for me, the most important thing that we want to, to focus on when we're looking at how to make a living from our art is mindset. So the little task for you today is for you to go away and maybe maybe on a second cup of tea or glass of something or whatever you're gonna do, I want you just to sit for a few minutes in your notebook, which I'm sure you all have, and write down whatever comes in your mind that might be stopping you moving forward in terms of mindset. Because I can tell you, it's not knowing what hashtag to post on Instagram. That is not stopping you from becoming successful. All right, it's not knowing how many flyers to put out or how many Facebook Lives to do for your next launch. That's not stopping you from becoming successful. In here is the thing that's going to get in the way. So today's little mini task, and I'm watching the time because I promised seven to 10 minute videos. 
long enough to make your cup of tea. Um, your task today is to get out of your head all the things that might stop you from a mindset perspective moving forwards. And then I'm going to suggest from there that you actually grab a few books, resources. So there's a lot of books out there that you can do on, on, on self-development. Of course, there's a lot of YouTube videos and things that you can watch. There's a lot of um, podcasts you can listen to. There's a lot of resources out there. And they're all going to say the same thing, really, in that we've got to learn to actually switch our mindset over from perhaps where it isn't right where, where, where you want it to be right now, which could be highly negative or doubting or lacking of confidence. And actually the time, energy and effort that you should be focused on right now is to improve things up here and not worry about the technical stuff. Now you're gonna find that most of my videos um, in this 30 day challenge tend to aim towards the technical stuff because it's easy to do, right? But interspersed there, I'm doing quite a few mindset videos because, I mean, in an ideal world, there'd be 80% mindset videos and 20% strategy. But I know that I'm just gonna pee people off because people, you guys want the strategy, don't you? And I know that. But I really just wanna say, right here, right now on day two, I want you to stop think about your mindset and where you are right now. And perhaps as you just do a little bit of journaling and you write down, you think, what's getting in the way? Do I have a belief that's holding me back? Even if it's just as simple as a belief that I don't believe I can be truly successful as an artist, there's one that's gonna hold you back for sure. Write it out and then write it in the opposite. It can be as simple as that. I do believe I can be high, am highly successful as an artist. And then I want you just to sit with that, sit with it for 24 hours, sit with it for a week, sit with it a month, write it out, tattoo it on your hand, put it on your phone, start embodying that idea because what happens bit by bit is gradually your mind adopts that idea and you start to think about what would happen if I had that belief, how would that ripple out into my life and my business? So that's my suggestion for you today. Start focusing on 80-20 principle. The idea, 80% of your success is, is in here and 20% of it is the strategies. And I hope that today, see look, we're at seven minutes. There we go. I hope that today's tea tip, <laughs> I guess I should have called it, today's tea tip um, is, hope, is, is helpful. I hope it's sort of sparked some ideas, some thoughts for you. Don't let that stuff subside. Keep working on the mindset stuff. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'm intriguing you because I'm going to talk about the three Ps. Now, these are my three Ps. They're not, if you Google it, it's not a magical three Ps that someone else has come up with. It's the three Ps that I think are going to help you become more successful. So you'll want to tune back in the same time, same place, for day three, where I'm hopefully you're gonna be excited and intrigued enough to want to know what the three Ps are. If you're watching this later on, you're watching it in the replay and you're doing binge watching, it'll be easy for you because you'll just be able to toggle to the next video. So some people have been asking what's happening to these videos, are they, you know, is there a replay? There's no such thing as a replay for live video, you do it live, it sits on my page forever until Facebook, I suppose, decides to take it down. So all these videos, I've created a playlist now that all going to be in the playlist so if you hop back onto my page if you missed yesterday's video and you toggle down to videos if you click on the videos tab I think rather than the live video tab the video tab and there's a new playlist at the top and it's got day one's video in there and sure enough this video is going to go in there in a minute and tomorrow the three P's and so on and so on I've got just about 40 videos planned out at the moment so we might be going to a 40 day challenge or a 50 day challenge or whatever. Okay, so that's it. Drink up, write up with your notebook, take some action and I'll see you same time, same place for tomorrow's video. All right, take care everybody. Bye.